There are big accusations of ethical blunders when it comes to research involving babies. People are sounding the alarm on how premature babies and their parents were treated. Scripps National Investigator Mark Greenblatt has newly revealed emails that has a big agency under fire. The alleged wrongdoing began soon after a regulator ruled parents of more than 1,300 premature babies were not properly warned about increased risks of injury or death. The National Institutes of Health itself funded the study, but emails that just became public show the top brass at NIH and other U.S. health officials stepping in, trying to influence and even edit the investigators' findings. This is one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen in, in the history of um, NIH-funded research. Dr. Michael Carome used to lead the compliance division at Health and Human Services that investigated allegations of unethical research studies on humans. Now he works for the watchdog group Public Citizen, which obtained 400 pages of internal government emails that he says show... The National Institutes of Health was allowed to interfere and tell the regulators, the ethics police, what they should do in this matter and got them to back off their enforcement action. We need a strong, independent office that can investigate when there are allegations of misconduct in research funded by NIH or any other federal department. And Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro agrees. She's calling on the inspector general of HHS to open an investigation, saying she has serious concerns about how NIH was allowed to interfere and improperly influence the regulatory investigation. In a statement, HHS downplayed the controversy, telling us that regulators here, quote, regularly work with entities like NIH. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for the Office of Inspector General confirms that they're in receipt of calls for an investigation and say that they're studying the matter carefully. Mark Greenblatt for the Scripps National Bureau in Washington. Now, to see more experts and read more of the 400 pages of emails, just go to 10news.com and click on the red TV button.